Hey everybody, Dr. George Cosmides here, coming at you on Periscope in Redondo Beach, California. Hey Nick, thanks for thanks for joining me. Hey Michelle, Natasha Cuevas, thanks for joining. Donna Marie, thanks. Hey Nick, Ferguson Studios, thanks for joining. Lady Lee, I just finished the blab, so I see some of you coming from the blab. Robin Cox, hey, thanks for joining. Hi, hi. Thank you. Yeah, Lady Lee, you're starting to follow me. Thank you so much. Donna, thank you for coming in. Ferguson Studios, thanks. Thank you for inviting your followers. Lakshmi, thanks for joining. You like Blab? You know, if the, if the subject matter is good, I like it. And I like Diana. She's, Diana's a really good person. So, so I asked a question. And so you ask <laughs> the scope. No, you ask on uh, uh, your analysis. Absolutely. I love the, I love the diagnostic testing. Absolutely. The question is, just like tonight's topic on type 2 diabetes, what are you going to do about the diagnosis once you get it? Or what you, you know, what are you going to do about the results? That's the key. Not not that <laughs> not that sorry. Sorry. It was a, it was I mean, we were getting a lot of questions, so sorry if I missed missed yours, Amy. <clears throat> Diane Bernard is who I did the blab with tonight. She's on Periscope. If you're new to Periscope, um, you can tap the screen, gives me hearts. That's great. You can uh Ask your followers to follow me by hitting the little white thing in the corner. And you can also follow me for my future scopes. But Diane is who helped train me and Joanne Pham on, on how to use Periscope. I said on your scope that I heard, oh, arsenic. Um, you know, I don't know much about that, Amy, to tell you the truth. Don't go back to your old ways now. If it was or wasn't, the question is, what are you going to do with the information that you get? I always want you guys to think that way. So um, I'm Dr. George Cosmides. I'm a doctor of chiropractic here in Redondo Beach, California. I've been in practice for 20 years. I teach uh, doctors uh, on diabetes education here in the state of California. I teach what's called continued education hours. We need 24 hours per year. I teach 12 of those um, on, on diabetes. And it's all research-based. I'm going to go over some of the research with you now. Simple. Uh, I want to be known as the doctor who explains things simply. And that's because I want you people to take action on the information that I give them. Um, so I answer, uh, I'm going to go to diabetes really quick. I just finished an hour long blab, so my voice is kind of funny. That was a question on your analysis. So, yeah, I know. Well, I don't know much about the arsenic question to tell you the truth, Amy. That's not my, that's my, my field of expertise. Hey, thanks for inviting, you invited one person. <laughs> thanks so much. Uh, the theme of tech, the theme of tech right now, simple. That's right. And that's with anything. Uh, what did Einstein say? Uh, to really know a subject, you, you should be able to explain it simply. And I, and I try to do that. I've been in the diabetic research field for 15 years after I lost my father. And it could have been reversed. Type 2 diabetes is an acquired condition. So two things that you can do. And then I'll answer questions because <clears throat> this is going to be a short scope. Two things you can do. Look at your lifestyle. And see if you're supporting your lean body mass. For those of you who don't know what your lean body mass is, that's when you remove all your fat and the muscle tissue is left. Are you eating enough protein to support that lean muscle mass? That's number one. Type 1 diabetes, the same principles apply. Now, if you're, if you, if you're a type 1 di uh, diabetic, you should have an A1C done, a three-month average. Then you should have something called a C-reactive protein test done. And they should usually run them 30 days to 45 days concurrently to, to, to solidify the results. Is it true bitter melon will lower blood, sh blood sugar? Not if your diet's crap. Not if you're eating white flour and white sugar and a lot. Of, uh, what I don't want you to do, intermittent fasting, I had a scope on that. The goal of, of intermittent fasting from what I've read, and put, that's correct. That's absolutely correct. The goal of intermittent fasting is to lower blood sugar, but you don't need to stop eating for 12, 14, 20 hours uh, to do that, you can do it by eating low glycemic f foods and following the recommendations that I give in the Lean Body 360 program. To me, that's just too extreme. But everything I read, I read, I think, four papers on intermittent fasting. The goal is the same goal as the uh, Lean Body 360 program, to lower your, your blood sugar at nighttime especially. Hey, Donna Marie, thanks for joining. Nighttime blood sugar is the key. So you want to do one thing, support your lean body mass with protein. Number two... You want to remove simple sugars from your diet three hours before bed. So no candy. Even a, Research says even a gram monkeys with your blood sugar. And here's the key. When your blood sugar goes up, it suppresses all these cool hormones that release when we sleep. IGF-1, 
growth hormone, we need those. What are simple uh, sugars? Um, apples, pears, bananas, sugar, candy. That's right, a gram is nothing. That's right. So even a piece of candy, you're gonna follow up the works. So juicing whole apples with seeds should be a problem. Um, I'm not sure it's the same, uh, Amy. Simple sugar, yeah. So two, remove simple sugars before bed. The key is three hours. Now, if you're really interested in getting your fat reduction and you're meeting your lean body mass, maybe go to four hours. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> it's not about, I'm not gonna eat anything. I didn't say that. I said simple sugars are, uh, according to research, appear to be the real problem. No, orange juice is not okay. I don't recommend any any fruit juice, especially that, that sits in the refrigerator for you know days on end. What do you eat if you have cravings for heartburn? An apple is good. Now remember, we have to think about this. If you have uh, reflux and, and, and uh, issues with your gut, the no simple sugars may go to the wayside because apples is very uh, soothing to the esophagus. Also, apple cider vinegar with a little bit of water seems to be helpful. And what's nice is there's no real negative side effects. So try reasonable things. But take a step back and look at your diet. You know, my dad drank a lot of soda pop. He ate a lot of pizza. And he died at 56 from uh, side effects of, uh, you know, diabetes. It doesn't have to be my fate. Will it help to reduce sugar levels when you don't eat four hours before bed? Yeah, you want to reduce simple sugars, no question. Oh, you bought a juicer today. Fantastic. Just now you have to do is use it. I got rid of mine because I wasn't using it. But I went and got some juice today. So again, consistency is king. Not flashes in the pan. I juice kale, cucumber, apple, celery every day. Fantastic. Just remember, just no simple sugar syrups before bed. If you really want to get, you know, specific, what would you recommend to eat before bed if you are hungry? Anything, broccoli, chicken, anything that's not a simple sugar. So a couple of eggs is fine. SKG slow. That's all I got. So no simple sugars. I missed that last uh, part of that. <clears throat> And we just talked about DNA testing and methylation on, on a blab. That's another option. It's, thank you. I try to give, again, information that my father, if he were alive, he would utilize. Is it, It's a master. Oh, that's the best kind. Cheese, yeah, I would try, look into non-dairy cheeses. There's a, several of them out there. So no OJ before bed at all. You know, I wouldn't drink bottled fruit juice at all because it's all sugar. Even though it tastes like oranges, after it's been pasteurized, all the enzymes are gone. So it's very taxing to the digestive tract. Plus, fruit juice has a high glycemic load because it's sugar all at once. Fresh squeeze, I would just eat the orange because you're getting all the bioflavonoids in the actual fruit. Is egg white preferable over eggs? No, I would eat the whole egg. If you are juicing, are there any juices that help lower sugar? Uh, the vegetable juices notoriously have a lower sugar level. Yogurt, yeah, I would stay away from the commercial ones like Yoplait. I think they have eight or nine grams of sugar per, per, you know, per small container. You know, go to the more fermented, the Fayets, the Greeks, they tend to be lower. And just read the label. You know, it's a shame that we have to. I wish we didn't have to. We have to become more mindful. Fruit and water. That's pretty good. It's not at nighttime. What do you think about diatomaceous earth indigestion? Um, diatomaceous earth is fish bones, basically. It's used to clean pool filters in pools, interestingly enough. Um it's hard to absorb the calcium and magnesium from what I've read out of that. About the connection with gut microbes and diabetes. No question, the gut, in my opinion, is the foundational problems of, I would say, 90% of our health problems. You won't see someone with uh, type 2 diabetic that's healthy. It doesn't exist. If you're a type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic, your health problems happen far earlier than your diagnosis. You do not have diabetes. It's not going to hurt you to fast. Well, I'm just not into these 12-hour fasts with water. I, don't, I, I think we can accomplish what we're trying to accomplish, just lowering our glycemic load. Do you know the CA raw nuts are not really raw because all well, they have in your... Yeah, they've been irradiated but not roasted. So again, don't fall back in the, the nitpicking category. Do the best you can. Do you drink any juice on a regular... No, I don't drink any juice at all. I had um, like a green smoothie today. At the, I, ju I scoped it at Fresh Press Juice. But it was like six, it's, I think it's called 30 Shades of Grey. It's got like kale, cucumber, but no fruit juicing. So you can juice, but just be mindful of what you put in it, especially at nighttime. It'll make a difference. If you're diabetic and checking your blood sugar, I guarantee you, uh, if you start following these recommendations within a couple of days, you'll start seeing difference in your numbers. And if they drop like more than 30, 40 points, call your doctor and let them know what's happening. And they usually lower your insulin dose over the phone. Have you a, 
H have you read Super Genes? I haven't. I haven't read that. Citrus fruits eat the white on the outside of the scope. Uh, yeah, that's right. And another thing I learned was commercial uh, citrus is picked green, so it actually will accelerate arthritis. Where you want to get, you want to eat fruit that's been picked ripe, not green, because they pick it so it will last. But it actually accelerates arthritic issues in the body. Interesting, right? All timing. Yeah, it's a, a lot of this. A lot of this that I teach is about more so about timing than restrictions. Is it okay if we eat once in a while some sugar, or we like still? No, I mean, I don't have white sugar in my house. I have uh, maple syrup and um, stevia. I wish I could find white coconut here. Yeah, it, it's tough. And if you do, it'd be really expensive. How, how to find fruit that is not picked green. Usually, if you go to farmer's market, you'll be your best chance. So if veggie smoothies are juices, then they can be priced. Yeah, they're going to be, I think the juice I bought today was like $8 for a quart, but boy, was it yummy. And I didn't have to clean up anything. <laughs> that's, that's the benefit, right? Super genes is in the line that there's something about epigenetic. Yeah, just remember, you know, we, you know, I am, I'm stuck with what I have. So I can talk about, you know, I'm not genetically gifted. I'm, do the best with what you have. And I'm trying to give you key things that you can do fundamentally. Pasteurize is dead. We need enzymes. No, you know, no question. Uh, yeah, you're, you're killing all the enzymes, good and bad. Young coconut is I have more value, like in smoothies. Yeah, if you can take fresh coconut, I mean, it's it's phenomenal. Uh, in Hawaii, we, we actually had a, a guy who shucked coconuts right at our wedding. We chopped the tops off it. What about sugar in the raw? You know, it's it's still it's still sugar. It's still a simple carbohydrate. It's still a, a, a jolt on your pancreas and your endocrine system. Medically, they call it insulin expression. 91 days of soda because of a doctor. That's right. Get rid of that soda. A millionaire mindset. Excellent. Hey, if you're going to be successful financially, you, your body's a business. You got to take care of it or all that money is going to be for naught. So you, you have to tighten up yourself. Raw honey has some definitely some enzymatic value and, and appears to have a lower glycemic load. Don't make your pancreas work harder. That's right. Coming from a lady who just dropped over 60 pounds. Okay, so can you go through a quick example of daily food plan on a budget? Eggs is, are pretty good. Um, excellent. Uh, eggs is good. It's pretty, they're pretty cheap. I'm a millionaire with <laughs> I'm a millionaire with lupus. Okay, the question is, millionaire with lupus, what are you doing about it? Fundamentally, consistently, what are you doing about it? How do you feel about raw milk? It's probably some of the best tasting stuff I've ever had, but I can't do it consistently. And it's about where I'm at. It's about twelve dollars a gallon. So when I give you folks advice, I'm thinking about the economics, the consistency, uh, the ability to, to acquire it. I mean, I'm I, I'm not so much anymore, but I used to be berated for not giving the the you know the most uh, elevated nutritional products. Well, if you can't access them or you can't afford them, it's pointless. Come on, I drink it all the time. Raw milk you drink all the time? Phenomenal. Wait, daily food plan, breakfast, lunch, dinner, please. Uh, example. Um, Greens and a protein, greens and a protein. In my meal plan, in my Lean Body 360, and in my, my diabetic meal plans, it's a protein and a vegetable with each meal. And you want to eat no longer than three hours apart. I was just reading an article on GMO and it was long term. No question about it. I'm convinced that GMOs are a problem. I don't recommend cow's milk anyway. I listened to a Cairo who wants you to eat 500 calories three times a day on it. Yeah, but see, that we go talking calories again. It's not, It's ridiculous. The calories aren't qualified. It's like saying go do business. What kind of business? There's a there's a complex carbohydrate. There's a simple carbohydrate. There's a protein based carbohydrate. You have to qualify these things. And I'm sorry that the professional said that. Where can we get your book or session with you? Uh, direct message me in my Periscope. There's my email. Click on that and send me a send me an email and just say uh, session or so, so so I know I'm getting so many emails now from <laughs> from Blab. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up. But I'll, you'll get it here from me. No, I said three weeks on and then off. Just yeah, it, it's just well, it's just unreasonable, and I, I don't practice that way. Have you heard of pillow? It's a Mexican impressed sugar. No, I haven't. I haven't heard of it. You know, there's so many countries with indigenous sugars out there. Um, what you want to find out is what the load is. How do you feel about whole eggs from? Oh, phenomenal! In 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 Hilo. My office manager, her neighbor had chickens that were trained to lay eggs in a certain place. They tasted like nothing I've ever tasted before. They were the best eggs. And it's hard for me to eat commercial eggs now because most of them are frozen. And they just don't taste right. Great. 16 eggs, six eggs a night. <laughs> okay. 
spend more on organic egg. Yeah, they're more expensive. You know, it's kind of like seeing a Ferrari in a McDonald's. I mean, what's this guy thinking about? How cool is that? Yeah, he has trained chickens, I swear. I swear. Uh, her name was Lila. They would train to go in a certain place and lay eggs so they were in the same place all the time. I thought that was so neat. At least six eggs a night? Well, millionaire motivator, you have to find out also what your lean body mass is so you support that. So there's a real cool calculation for that. And once you get it, you own it. And you know exactly how much protein you need for your lean body mass, which is pretty cool. It'll keep you lean. I'm still fighting to get, get into two digits or get into one digit, rather. I say about adding me. Oh, I got that email. Yeah, I'm putting together a, uh, with, with Donna, we're going to put together a uh, meetup, a wellness meetup. I'm going to plan to have someone from business there. I plan to have some, you know, a yoga person there, a raw, you know, raw foodist, and give you a, the general outline of how to be healthy in like a three-day event, probably at some hotel. Uh, I'm not sure where yet, though. We're still kind of working out, maybe at you know, Club Med, something like that um, for everyone to come to. Um, we're getting a lot of interest, so I'm going to try to keep it around 50 people or so, not 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 a huge group so I can be more intimate, and I, it's going to be fun. We don't know what state yet. Any of you have any ideas or you're in the uh, the hotel or planning industry, you know, reach out to me. We're, we I just put together a little outline. Uh, I think I emailed it today, or I may not even emailed it yet. It's still sitting in my uh, my outline box. You look like my professor. I don't know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> First time I've heard that oh, I must be getting old if I look like your professor. Uh shucks. You think it should be in Alabama? <laughs> uh we you know we don't know. We're in the planning state. So please, you know, email us. I'm, I'm open. I have never struggled with weight loss trying to keep healthy weight. That's the key. You want to keep your body fat low, especially if you're a man. The goal is to keep it below 18%. No come to Canada. You know, we're open. I just want to give a good event and I want people to leave there. Uh, fulfilled and learn something and apply it to their lives and their family and make a difference. Seattle struggles also because of cold, dark day. Yeah, I've been to Seattle. It was the it was the wettest place that it was the wettest place I was at for four days. It never rained. It, was, it just it was raining, but there was no no rain in the sky. So go figure. Ah, where to calculate lean body mass? So a lot of people on here uh, are, are in my program. So I don't know if I should give that calculation out. Yeah, it can be. Could you also run Periscope at the event? I think so. It doesn't matter if you have struggled with weight loss. I have always been super uh, is it super skinny. You got to support your lean body mass. It all starts with, with that. I like know who is yoga after you find out. I, I would too. I, I'm, I mean, like I said, we're just, I mean, these are just my thoughts. I mean, I don't want you guys come there just to see me. I, I mean, I'm just one person. I want you to see I'm not, I, you know, I'm not a professional yoga instructor. I'm not, and teach you ways to do it for the average person, not going to some yoga camp to become a master. That's a lean body summit. I, I totally get that. You know, I, I like that phrase. I, you know, I'm just like you guys. I have the same struggles. I don't stretch as much as I should. And, and thinking that you're going to go there for two hours, it, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. I, the way I have it formulated in my mind, it's going to be cool. If I come, it's to see. I know I'll be there, but I want to have other people that 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 I respect and I admire. You know their their skills. I would like a class for everyday people who are not rich but desire to be healthy. That's what I'm all about. The the people who struggle the most, and I've done. You know, I've flown to see people for you know two or three day uh, private sessions, and some of them were very well off, and their health was just a disaster. And I guess they thought they could buy their way back to health. It doesn't work that way, folks. It's, your health is kind of like an annuity. It builds up or declines over time. So you're not going to all of a sudden in one weekend or one week or one special magic pill get it all back. I, I wish it worked. I'd be in that line. It just doesn't work. So hope that was helpful. Thanks for coming on my, my scope tonight. I, I'm in the office tomorrow. I know, but I'm not rich, but desire to be healthy. Well, we'll make it work. <clears throat> we'll make it work. How fast can people gain health back? The, the body will change in 21 days. The body will re, reformat its, its hard drive in, in 90 days, according to research. But again, it depends how deeply enrooted you are. So you guys can check out my Lean Body program. It's Lean Body 360. Um, I do Monday morning coaching calls. Everything is in a member's area that you record if you miss them. And uh, I'll help you as best I can. I'll see you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.